I'm thirsty. The main product of Food Hold USA, it is Acadia Brands Natural Spring Water, who served from the picturesque faraway springs of Auburn, Pennsylvania. This clear crystal spring water is the store brand at Stop and Shop and giant chains of supermarkets. We're doing water. We're doing water. All right, we're doing water. Um, this is Acadia. This is the, uh, the, the people affiliated with the Stop and Shop company, uh, natural brand spring water. Um, what do I say about spring water? I mean, I am a child of the 80s. I remember when you used to be able to drink this stuff straight out of the faucet. I mean, you just take your little sippy cup, run it out of the faucet and just drink it and it was fine. And Whatever happened in those days, now all of a sudden the water is so damn polluted, you can't drink it anymore. Now all of a sudden we have to buy our, our, our water out of, you know, out of a bottle and, you know, spend our hard-earned dollars on something we used to get for free. I don't understand. It's just one more thing we have to freaking spend all of our money on. I mean, everything that used to be free is now bleeding us dry. I, I, how the hell do we live anymore? It's a good thing I live in limbo now because I have no idea how the hell I'd be able to afford it anymore. How, how do people afford life? God, it's just freaking, everything costs money now. I mean, even just to, to watch TV. I remember all that you used to have to do is just take a, like a coat hanger and just attach it to your, your TV box and just aim it the right way and you get TV reception. No, you can't do that anymore. Now you have to buy uh, cable vision or, or satellite or whatever. It's ridiculous now what you have to go through, but let me open this up and take a whiff, I guess. It smells like water. All right, I guess I'll take a drink and uh, this is a great show. Tastes delicious. It's just as flavorless as I thought it would be. How do you grade water? You know what? Because it's so fucking average, I'm gonna give it as average a score you're gonna give water, two and a half stars. A personal rule of thumb, every water, unless I, I look at the bottle and it's freaking brown and you see like a poo floating around in there, every water is gonna get two and a half stars at best. At worst, it's gonna get zero stars because it's not sewage water. If it was sewage water, well, <laughs> if it was sewage water, it would have gotten zero stars. But whatever. What am I gonna do? It's freaking water. What, what kind of a, a, a review did you ex expect? Are you I don't know. Me, DJ? You, you make do with what you got. All right. I mean, whatever. I, I, God, I, this guy is deaf. Can you blame me? I, I'm at a loss of wor for words on this one. I, 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 I realize I'm trying to be a professional, and I really, I mean, what can I do? It's just like sending a guy out to battle with no ammunition in his DJ. gun. Finally! Oh! Hey, man upstairs! How, how nice of you to join us! How, how you doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man upstairs! <laughs> I'm not like happy with you. <laughs> what was it you were saying? I said I am not happy with you. Um... Oh, what do you mean? I think you know. Search your memory. Oh, you mean like you're gonna do one of those uh those old-fashioned flashback episodes? Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me with something. Yeah, let's show some old clips or or something like that. Can I go to hell? I'd rather be in hell than limbo. It's official. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Send me to hell. Send me to hell. Do you? saying that, DJ? Yeah, 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 I remember that, that episode, and, uh, you know, in the heat of the moment, we all say things that we don't mean necessarily. I mean, we all have bad days here and there. I don't necessarily want to go to hell. Oh, I mean, really? Let's just put it this way. I have a whole room full of DVDs and Blu-rays I DVDs? can, you know, pass the time Blu with. And, you know, I could forget things that way and, you know, what I'll are pass you the saying? time that way and forget, you know, the malicious feelings that were going through my head that day. And, you know, I, I, I let the bad feelings wash away. And 
all's good in the end. I made an exception for you, DJ Clive, and if you're not happy with our original arrangement- It's okay, it's okay, it's all good. You don't, you know, it's, it, it's good, it's good, it's good, you know. Water under the bridge, water under the bridge. It is decided yeah. then. There are others who will deal with your insolence here in the afterlife. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I am the show's announcer and resident Dark Lord, Satan! Go ahead now, introduce yourself. Uh, um... I'm DJ Clive? And this is another thrilling episode of Showdown in Hell! A show where misery, pain, suffering... It's all another day at the office. How are you feeling, DJ Clive? You look a little... peckish. <laughs> I've only been here about a minute. I'm dying over here. I'm just... I'm so hot. Can I at least take this jacket off, please? No! You are in hell! A place of eternal anguish! Your discomfort brings me great pleasure! You are to wear that moist leather jacket for the remainder of the program! <laughs> Not to nickel and dime your good work, Mr. Dark Overlord, but it's a jacket. This is freaking hell. I mean, I'm sure you got in some of these chambers, you got people being whipped, you got people being forced to roll boulders uphill, I'm sure you got people having their skin ripped from their bones. This is a freaking jacket. To have me sweat my armpits off in a leather jacket, I mean, isn't that just a bit tacky? Alright, you can take it off. Thank you. So, how do things work around here? I mean, I don't see any food exactly. You are to choose one item. Be it a food or drink, it is your choice. This will be the last thing your lips will ever taste. You will do one final program for your lovely viewing audience, and then... You will belong to me, where you will endure an endless afterlife of being whipped while rolling a boulder up a hill and having your skin ripped off! Well, that's not very original. Shut up, you little shithead! You deserve it for being such a snarky little turd! So, what are you waiting for? Choose your food item! Yeah. And you better make it good. I better make it good. My last meal. Of all the things that I cherish in the world. Roast turkey. White Castle burgers. Baja chicken chalupas. Buffalo wings. Gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. High beyond the sky, I could be. I know I would lie. Or maybe. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking last meal. Maybe I should be thinking exit strategy. I think I have a plan. I have a plan! <laughs> that is what you choose? It's just a beer! Oh, it's not just any beer, it's... The most curious brew to come off the Dark Horse conveyor belt. It is Scary Jesus Rockstar! A dry, citrus-laden pale beer brewed with generous portions of chamomile, honey, and apricot flavor. With the added gimmick to contain holy water, this multi ale finishes off smooth enough to give its imbiber a religious experience. Hallelujah! Oh, holy artifact, willest thou be the instrument of my retribution? Only time will tell. This is from our good folks at the Dark Horse Brewing Company. This is a little ditty called the Scary Jesus Rockstar Pale Ale. This is an apricot chamomile ale, um, a very uh, experimental brew, um, which the, the gimmick is, I mean, it has a lot of strange gimmicks to it. It already has apricot and chamomile in it. Normally, that those two ingredients would turn me off. I hear apricot and... Already, I, I run for the hills. I hear any kind of weird fruit flavor in a beer, unless it's maybe like raspberry or blueberry, I just kind of like, bleh, bleh, bleh. I, I order, automatically develop that weird gag reflex there. But 
what kind of turned me on to this beer in particular was, well, not just the picture of our Lord and Savior on the bottle, but the fact that the gimmick is that it contains holy water, among other things, um, I tend to think that that's a bit of a crock. Um, but who knows? I mean, maybe they went to a local church and said, hey, can we borrow your vat of holy water? We'll, we'll donate, you know, generously to the church if you let us have some. Or maybe there was, they had like a priest on standby come to the, the brewery and, you know, bless the, uh, the bottles as they went down the assembly line. You know, something like that. You know, you never know. I mean, maybe they went through to those, to those lengths. Um, is it going to affect the taste of the beer? I doubt it. I mean, maybe they made, they used like the, the finest, cleanest water possible to make this brew. Um, but I mean, obviously I used some kind of strategy in picking this to get me out of this dump because it's like me bringing the holiest of holy artifacts into the demon's lair, the lair of the demon beast himself. It's like waving the red flag in front of, the bu of a bull. So, uh oh, I didn't think of this. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, how ironic! <laughs> oh, wait. I almost forgot! <laughs> I carry one on me at all times now! I learn from prior reviews! <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke it, douchebag! Oh, look at that! I'm foaming over! Let me take a whiff of this! Mmm, it smells divine! You know what? Even though it's got apricots, and uh, cow meal in it, it smells oh so delightful. It smells like the most delicious apricot and cow meal beer I've ever smelled. Quite possibly because of where I am right now. It smells like, <laughs> smells like deliverance. Fuck chance. <sighs> delicious. <laughs> what was that, Mr. Dark Overlord? I didn't hear you. You cannot accurately grade beer. I know you're still on those pills. You can't taste the bubbles. Ah, uh, so you're a fan, huh? You've been watching my prior reviews! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm your biggest fan. Well, thank you, Mr. Dark Overlord. I appreciate the views. Well, so the Dark Lord's a fan. He's been watching my stuff. Um, well, hey, <laughs> I appreciate haters as well as the people who, who like my videos. So, um, hey, I don't care who you are. I mean, hell, you could club baby seals for all I care. Just as long as you, as you give me the views, why not? Um, so yeah, Mr. Dark Overlord says that I can't taste the carbonation in beer, so I can't give this a fair grade. Well, I have been practicing, um, Swinkies? I, heard, I thought I heard Swinkies bark. How did Swinkies get down here? Um, I've been practicing with, uh, with sodas and, and beers at home, and I have practiced a little zen technique where I can feel the little carbonation of bubbles, not on the top of my tongue, but on the sides of my tongue and on the bottom of my tongue. If I concentrate real, real hard, I can get a nice, accurate grade of what a carbonated beverage tastes like. So, um, you just gotta get me quiet on the set, I gotta have nice peace and quiet, and just, just a nice moment of, like, I don't know, five or ten seconds where I just have nice and utter concentration and I'll give you a nice, honest grade of what this tastes like. So, over the lips and pass the gums and I will give you a nice, honest grade of what this tastes like and here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Curse you, DJ Clive. Curse you. <laughs> Got something on your lip. <laughs> a little bit more. Well, DJ Clive, what do you think? <laughs> he can't taste it. He can't taste it! <laughs> this could be the greatest beer I've ever had! No! It's pretty damn good. I mean, it tastes great because I haven't had a good beer in a long time, and I haven't really sat down and concentrated on the bubbles in a long, long time, and... And, you know what? It tastes pretty damn good. The apricots, the chamomile, it's a nice little marriage, it tastes very, very good. If I were to give this a star rating, you know what? I exaggerate. It's not the best alcohol I've had, but it's, it's up there. I'll give it four stars. Um, the apricot chamomile, it's, it's very good. It doesn't overpower the beer. That's what's great about it. Holy water, it's a gimmick. I don't know if it's real holy water in there. Um, it doesn't add any taste to it, obviously. I don't know if you've 
purposely ever gone to church and drank their holy water, if you just like, I don't know, if you just come, like if you were jogging outside church and it's just like, whew, what a hot day, and you just ran to a church and just went, go, 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 drank in their, their holy water like you were drinking from a well or something, you were parched, and, and you just, just savored the taste, and if you have that taste in your mind, you know, right into the show, let me know what that tasted like, but I can't imagine it tasting like anything. This tastes pretty damn good. I'm not, I don't think the holy water taste would, t would add anything to it, though. This tastes pretty damn good. It's definitely a four-star beer, and if you can search it out, I definitely say, look for Dark Horse brand Scary Jesus Rockstar Apricot Chamomile Pale Ale with Holy Water. It's a definitely a must try if you're a beer. The stuff fan. tastes like shit. Yeah. DJ. Oh, you don't like that, huh? Never leaving here alive. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, how dare you talk to me that? I'm getting out of here whether you like it or not. Oh, you are staying you're here whether you like it or not. Yeah. You stupid beer. Smug little shit. I'm feeling all sorts of holy. I do believe that was real holy water in there. No, it wasn't. I'm feeling all sorts of godlike. Don't speak his name here. Oh, you sickened me. Don't sing this crap. I wish I did lyrics to this song. Oh, DJ, you are trying my patience. The power of Christ comes DJ, you're back. Um, uh, DJ, I've been thinking. I may have overreacted slightly. I shouldn't have sent you to hell. That was unfair. I'm. Oh, come on, DJ, don't be like that. We can still be friends. Boy, no! What was it no, you said? No, no, don't talk to me. You yourself said, let bygones be by. Not a word. DJ. No, I'm not hearing it. Don't walk away. You're being an ass.